are live. I hope so. Yes, bud. Yes, thank you. I have, come here. I have my assistant here who is helping me <laughs> set up the timer, right? We just uh, live in Jerry's um, all day here. Uh, um, after this, we're going to come back and start and get our stuffed animal to do the stuffed animal one. That's right, because we did a stuffed animal workout yesterday, so we're going to film some workouts with Kai and some kid workouts um, after this for the YouTube channel, right? That's going to yes. be really fun, and you're going to help me with it. So we're just going to take a second to get set up over here. Um, <laughs> he will not be a part of this workout. So this is going to be a full body. Thank you, buddy. Okay, can you be quiet for just a second so I can uh, just talk first? Thank you. Good job. So this is going to be a full body workout using a set of dumbbells. Yeah, you just be in, in charge of the timer. In case you're wondering what goes on behind the scenes around here, now you know. Um, so, you know, come here, Maya, come to me. Um, <laughs> real life. <laughs> okay, so a set of dumbbells. Two more. Last 
last one and hold it here. Gentle push out, rolling through those shoulders. There we go. Walk them in, bring it up, tap it out, reach across. So again, as always, I will give you options. So you work to your fitness level. As I always say, you be where you are today, reach it over. If you need to modify that, it's totally fine. That's why I give you options, because we are all on our own fitness journeys. I'm just glad that you showed up. My only rules are stay safe and keep moving, right? Those are the rules. Here we go, little hamstrings to the back. Shake that out. Let's roll through our hips just a bit. And then we'll do a little stretch to the front. Reach, reach, yes. Okay, so shake all of that out. We are gonna start with two dumbbells. Bend your knees together. Make sure, I always say that because not really great for our backs if we bend over to get them, unless you have that perfect deadlift form, which you might. Okay, so toes out. We're gonna start with just a plie squat. So if you don't have dumbbells, grab some soup cans, some water bottles, don't worry, you can even just do this body weight. Just add a little extra if you have those dumbbells. Toes out, we're gonna drop it, plie squat, down and up. So drop those hips, squeeze up through the center. I like to rest my dumbbells right here on the sides, but totally fine if you wanna have them down in front. In fact, I would love it if you get low and bring it up, just making sure that you're dropping the hips not necessarily dropping in the chest. Shoulders back, nice good posture, just starting through that lower body. Then we're gonna add some upper, and we're gonna live up to the title of this workout. We're gonna make it burn. It's gonna be fun, but we're gonna make those muscles burn as well as get your heart rate up for cardio, right? Let's go four more, drop it low for four, and squeeze three, two, so I want you to hold it down here. I know they're burning. Bring those dumbbells in front, hammer curl. I want you to go up, circle to the back, behind the legs, up, circle to the front. So if you can, I want you to stay down that whole time. Let's make those legs work. Up, circle back, circle front, right? Up, circle back. If you need a little break, you can bring it here. But if you can, stay low that whole time and breathe up, circle back. Let's go two more, rotate it all the way through. One more, good, hold it in front. I want you to pulse out with those arms. So you're actually squeezing in the shoulder blades while we keep those biceps working. How are those legs? Pulse up this time. Breathe. Can we add a little pulse? Legs and arms together. Up. Breathe. Yes, burn. Four, three, two. Relax. Woo! Is it burning? Is it burning for you? I hope so. Okay. What I want you to do is drop one dumbbell down while we give our legs a little bit of a break. Standing crunch. So dumbbell here. Everybody can do this. Knees to your chest as you do a little crunch. Breathing out and in on that exhale. Zip up that core. So what it's not is a lot of upper. I want you to think about that contraction here. Just standing crunch while we let our legs and arms get a little break. Then we're gonna move on with that dumbbell burn. Breathe. Let's go four more. Four. As you know, if you've done my workouts before, I like to do a lot of active rest. Good, catch your breath. Where we're moving, but we are giving some things a little bit of a break, but we keep working, right? Okay, so take it nice and wide. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with our arms. So I'm gonna do a big circle, and I'm gonna turn my body this way, then circle back to center. So you can either do a little twist with your feet, like I just did, or pick your feet up, turn, pick your feet up. It's up to you, over your body. If you have light dumbbells and you wanna do one dumbbell 
in each hand, that's totally fine. You don't have to do one if that feels too easy. You can do two, just keep them close together. Let's go one more, just the arms. Good, watch me here. Turn into it, drop it low, back to center. Turn into it, drop it low. If you wanna keep just the tap and turn and not get super low, you can. That's totally up to you. Good, let's go four more. Four, drop. Three, drop. Two, one more. Breathe. Can you hold it out here? Drop it low, little pulses. Arms straight if you can. Bring them in if you need that breather. Breathe. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Watch me here. Take that dumbbell here. I want you to tap it down, tap that foot in, bring it back. Tap it down, bring it back. Tap it down, bring it back. You're staying low the whole time if you can. If you want to just do one, you can reach down with the dumbbell, bring it back, or just do the tap. And here, staying low. And breathe. Good, let's go four more. Four, and bring it in. Three, two, one more. Good, who's burning? I know I am, whose heart is bumping? I know mine is. Catch your breath. Sneaking in that cardio, right? We're not even jumping up and down. We're gonna start with the arms to the other side. So same thing, think about that rainbow. Little pivot, pivot, or twist, whatever feels better for you and your joints. Just the upper with a little turn for core, no legs. Ready, here we go. Whoo! Turn, circle, back to chest. Big reach over, circle, back to chest. Turn, circle, back to chest. Really reach out, and again, if you have two dumbbells, that's fine. We just wanna keep them circling, chest, straight out. That's hard, you got a heavier one. Breathe, one more, just like this. Keep it here if you want, or add the lunge. And back, right? Breathe. And back. Yes. Oh, man. Feeling those shoulders. And breathe. Four more like this. Don't forget about that core pull in. Three. And back. Two. One more. Can you hold it here? Little pulses. Try to be here if you can. I know that's a lot. So if you need to bring it in, just stabilize in that core. Keep those shoulders working. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Watch me here. Tap it down and bring it back. We're staying low the whole time. Tap it down and bring it back. So we're not coming all the way up. Whew, tap it down. And bring it back. If you want to just do arms, remember, you're just here to here. You're still going to get the leg work. Tap it in, drop it low. Lunge. So a little staggered deadlift here. Pull those elbows back. Dumbbell. And breathe. Everything's working. Again, upper, you can be here. Four more. Four. And breathe. And three. And two. One more. Yes. Relax. Breathe. I feel like I can still hear my kids crying in the house. Whew. You guys know how it goes. All right, guys. Breathe. Catch your breath. I know our arms are tired. Let's do a little side knee crunch. So it's one side. Keep it here. Not going over. Keep it at your chest. In and out. You don't have to actually touch elbow to knee. If you can, that's great. Breathe, elbow to knee. Yes. You can do a little more if you want. Let's go four, three, two, one. Other side, start small. 
bring it in. If that feels like too much balance, just lean into it. That's okay too. Breathe up. Yes. Good. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. I know I cheated that last one. Drop your dumbbell down safely, bend your knees to do it. Let's grab a sip of water. Oh man, I am feeling that. So a little tap it out. You're not allowed to say that. Take it here. Bend your knees to break those dumbbells back up. Spilling water. All right. Here we go, guys. Bend your knees, pick those dumbbells back up. <laughs> so, going with our theme, we either start up or we start out lower, then we add on, we're gonna go side lunge. So I'm stepping out to my right, your left, roll those shoulders back, catch your breath, side lunge. I want you to step into it, push out. So I'm leaning deep into that hip, and I'm pushing through. Bent leg, straight leg, little stretch, Looks like this. Watch my hips driving back and push. So I'm here, low to high. Sit deep, drive the hips back, push out of that leg that you're stepping with. And breathe, yes. Let's go four more right here. Here we go. Four, and breathe. Three, two, one more. I want you to hold this one down. So try to stay deep. If you need to come up a little bit, I still want you to keep that chest low and watch me here. I'm pushing down and pulling my elbows up. Pushing down, pulling it up. So it's low like a row, flat back. Push and pull. Push and pull. Stay on that hip if you need to. You can take it here. Push and pull. But if you can, stay deep. Breathe. And squeeze. I know, a little bit of a different row. I call it a rotational row. Let's go four and breathe. Three, two, one more. I want you to hold it here. Step in and squeeze. Step in and squeeze. You're just keeping those arms up. Squeeze in the back. If you can, put them together. Drop it down. Squeeze it up. Three more. Down. Squeeze it up, two, and one. Hold it here, pulse it back, pulse. Squeeze in those shoulder blades, drop that chest. Little more of a row for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, down, relax, tap it out. All right, guys, now we're gonna do that sequence on the other side. I know, no repetition except when we have to go <laughs> back to the other side. So what I want you to think about, you guys tap it out or jog it out. We're gonna switch our arms when we get to that row. So we're going down, palms up, pulling up this way. So think of it as still a row. So we gotta keep that chest low and lean into that hip of the side lunge, but we're rotating our hands. Okay, get ready. Starting with that side lunge, my left, your right. Here we go, lean in. Push out, yes. Lean in, push out. Breathe, and out. Good. Step in deep, remember, lean into that hip. I want you to really think about getting that stretch in the stationary leg, and then really sinking deep and back in the moving leg. Four more right here, here we go. Four, deep as you can go, push out. Three, and two, one more. Hold it down here, watch me guys. Push with those palms up. Push and pull. Push and pull. Push, looks like this. Push and pull, keep it going. Push and pull, stay low if you need to. Come up if you need to. But try to stay down into it. Can we get four more? I think we can. Stay low. Four. And squeeze. Three. Two. One more. All right, this one's gonna be 
trickier. Keep those elbows up. Tap it up. Lunge it down. Tap it up. Elbows up too. I know they're tempted to drop, but try to keep them up. Let's add. Drop it down. Here we go. Row it up. Drop it down. Row it up. Drop it down. Last two. And one. And relax. Whew. I know, guys. I was feeling that. Drop both dumbbells down. I want you to shake out those arms, tap out those legs. It's a lot. It's a lot for your brain. It's a lot for your muscles. Muscle confusion, we call that. So again, if at some point you've got to just do one of the movements, that's okay. Be where you are today. Just keep moving. You can always come back to this workout many, many times and step it up if you need to. Whew. Okay, team. Quick sip of water if your heart's pumping like mine. I hope so. How are those legs feeling? Don't worry, they're about to get a little break. Okay, team. So one dumbbell if you can, or two. If you have lighter, smaller dumbbells, you can do two. The motion that we're going for is we're going to do a little lift to the back, then we're going to bring those elbows up. One dumbbell in some ways might be a little bit tougher because it's going to challenge that flexibility. So watch me here. One dumbbell behind your back, you're going to grab it with both. Again, if you have lighter, you can go here pretty comfortably. Take it there. Watch me here. One foot forward, dumbbell between two hands if you can, just lift and lower. It's going to be a teeny tiny movement. I know that that's different and not something we normally do. So I want you to stagger one foot forward, squeeze. If you've got two dumbbells, just push back and here. Let's go. Four, a little lift. Three is what it looks like. Two, watch me here, elbows up, elbows up and down. That's hard, I know. Think about those tries in the back. If you've got two, up. Keeping it a little bit leaning forward, but we're mostly straight up and down. Who's burning? Four more right here. Four. Three. Two. One. Relax. Bring that dumbbell down in front. Keep your weight here. I just want you to do a little lift and lower. Squeeze. So this leg is taking the work. This leg, we're just doing a little booty squeeze. Breathe while we catch our breath, while we keep those arms from burning. Eight, seven, if you want to get a little lower, you can. Six, lean into it. Five, pull that core in. Four, three, two, bring that dumbbell back behind. If you can, if it's not too much for your balance, lift and lower with both. I know, right? Squeeze straight up. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> Tap it out side to side, dumbbell in the front. Breathe. I want you just to do a little tap with both. Keep it slow and controlled. Opposite muscles, those biceps, before we get back to those triceps. For four, three, Two, can we do it all on the other side? I think we can. All right, zip up in that core. One dumbbell behind or two between both hands. Other foot forward. Little lift, here we go. Lift and down, lift and down. So it's all through the back and shoulders. A lot of triceps. If that's not super comfortable, or again, if you have lighter weights, just use one dumbbell on each hand. So two dumbbells for four. Three, two, bring it up. Elbows up right here. Watch me. Elbows. Ha! Ah, looks like this. Breathe. Keep it going. Burn in. Four. Who sweat? Three, two, one. Bring it forward. Lift and down. Dumbbells just right in front. It's really small. Keep a slight bend in that front leg, but it's just a little lift. Kind of like you're in bar class, squeezing that glute. Doesn't matter if it looks graceful. Four more right here. Four, three, two, one. If you can, 
bring it behind. If you can't, just do one or the other. Here we go. Lift and lower. And squeeze both up. Pull that core in. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Ah! Take your one or two dumbbells up over your head. I know because it's burning. Kick it here. Little pulses down. Elbows in. You got this. Burn. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Relax. Ooh, put that down. Bend your knees to do it. One last little thing before we go to the mat. You have a few options. Woo. All right, team. We haven't done a regular squat, I don't think, right? So let's just take it. I want you just to step it out, touch it down, reach it up high. Step it out, touch it down. It's last little burner for the legs. You can reach, you can go up on the toes, you can jump if you want. Breathe. Then we are going to the mat. A couple more minutes down there. Not a couple, because somebody's going to comment and tell me that's only two. It's going to be more than two. Four, three, two, one. Hold it here. Pulse those hips down. Can you get the fingertips on the ground? But still keep that butt low. Breathe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Relax. Grab a quick sip of water. Let's take it to the mat. I know. Ha. All right, team. With your dumbbells. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit of everything. I know I am. Let's bring one dumbbell. We'll bring them both. Let's start on all fours. If you are pregnant or newly postpartum, or you know you have diastasis recti, I want you to stay on your knees. We're gonna start here. I know we did some rows, but watch me. We're gonna pulse and just pulse. Stay on your knees, zip up that core. If you wanna try that challenge, I want you to lift up into that bear plank and pulse, all right? So, holding the bear plank on one hand is hard. We're not gonna do it very long. Zip up the core either way. Stay on your knees to modify. Lift up if you can. Here we go. Pulse. Squeeze in that elbow. Keep those hips and shoulders as turning to the mat as you can. Pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Relax it down. Stretch it back. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Relax those wrists. So stay on the knees if you need to. If you can, I'm going to angle this way so you can see. Zip up in that core. Knees are directly beneath the hips. Lift it up if you can. Pulse. Here we go. Pulse. What I mean by keeping those hips and shoulders square is not turning here, right? Breathe. Pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Relax. Whew. Stretch that out through your back, right? Yes. Good. Awesome, team. All right. So keep it here. We're going to come into a front plank. So if you're in those categories, prenatal, postnatal, diastasis, I want you to stay here. I want you to do that bird dog, and then you're going to lift in a curl. Bird dog, lift in a curl. So your curl just goes front to your body. Everybody else, if you can, bring it all the way up, full plank, and we're just going to alternate our curl. Curl, curl right to the center of your chest. Curl. Bend in the elbow, it's not a row, it's elbow flexion. Yes, here we go. Four, three, two, one more. And relax, rest those wrists again. Okay team, come into a seated position. Breathe, one dumbbell in the center. Prenatal, postnatal, I want you to stay right here. We're just going to go up and over, up and down. Looks like this. 
Anybody who needs to modify, stay here. You're still gonna feel it. Shoulders and triceps. Everybody else, if you can, up, take it back, take it up and down. So it's small, up and back, and all your controls right here. Here's what we don't want, guys, is for that dumbbell to pull you all the way back. So we're not going back very far because it's gonna pull you here. It's just a small drop of the core, pull everything in and up. Notice I'm not going very back very far at all, just more than seated. Up. If that feels like too much for you, you stay seated. There's no shame in that. You're still working arms, you're still working core. Four. Breathe. Three. It just as that weight pulls you back, you're forced to stabilize even more. Two. One more. Good. Hold it back right here. Knees and back. If you're staying seated, you just stay seated. Keep doing that press and tries for eight, seven, lean a little further if you can, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax, knees out to the side, Woo. all right team, on your side, we are so close, we are almost at that 30 minute mark, right, <laughs> here we go, bring it up onto your side, you can be on the knees if you need to. Watch me, dumbbell or no dumbbell, I'm gonna rotate out to the edge of my mat, I'm gonna pull it back up. Rotate out, pull it back up. That might feel like a lot, you just do the body weight, that's fine, or add that knee, bring it back. Rotate and back. Everybody can do this one, just don't twist too much if you need to modify. Breathe. Four more, four, and breathe. Three, two, yes, and relax. Take it to that other side, Woo. All right, here we go. On your knees, or all the way up, with that dumbbell, reach to the edge of your mat, or with the hand, ready. Here we go, bring it up, and touch. Bring it up and touch. Knee is fine too. Be where you are today. And breathe. And breathe, yes. Almost there. Body weight is fine too. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Good, one last thing for core. Stretch it over team. Woo, and breathe. All right, so pregnant, second or third trimester, or diastasis, I want you to stay here. Just those deep core breaths and seated crunch. Pull everything in, pull everything out. Anybody who needs to modify, that's totally fine to stay there. Everybody else, let's take it down on to your back with or without your dumbbell. It's one last set, a little bit of core, Take it up if you can, bring those feet up, and we're just gonna crunch over the knees and bring it back. We're gonna do several things. We'll move through kind of quickly. You can always stay with just this base level. You can also just do your very basic crunch. One last burn with or without your dumbbell or seated crunches. Here, little tap. Here, little tap if you can and breathe if you want. Push it out, bicycle. Push it out, bicycle. Tuck that chin. If it's starting to bother your neck, you can take the crunch out of it or take the dumbbell out of it. Breathe, breathe. Hold it up here, relax your shoulders. Watch me tap it down, circle through. Tap it down. Little reverse, I'm making a big circle of the ceiling. I'm keeping my dumbbell up. Push those hands into the dumbbell. Last push here. Breathe, circle. Yes, keep it going. Four, three, two. Can you do one last thing for burn? I think you can keep it here. Lower, squeeze it in. Squeeze those inner thighs. 
and breathe. Yes, take the dumbbell. Opposite side. Breathe. I know you guys, if you're doing that seated crunch, you're getting bored, but don't worry, we're almost there. We just wanted one last burning set. Three, two, one, relax. Sorry guys, I'm taking you over 30 minutes. I always say that, right? Whew. Go ahead, hug those knees in if you can. Slowly roll it up to a seated position. You did it. <laughs> Take those knees out, drop them out to the side. <sighs> Couldn't finish without one last burn of the abs, right? <sighs> so hopefully we covered everything I think we did. Upper, lower, core, cardio. Let's take one leg out if that's comfortable for you. And just breathe, fold into it. However it works for you to lean into that. Pull that toe towards you. As always, get more of that stretch on your own. Take it here. Fold it over. So as always, guys, check the link in the description below. Make sure you check out my eBooks and programs that are just curated, structured programs, schedules that go along with these workouts. So lean back if you can. Cross one leg over. If you can't, you just stay there and seated. Walk it in, press that knee down. So if you're looking for a little more structure, a little more of a routine, check out my eBooks and programs. There's also a link to my nutrition guide very practical guide to nutrition, not a specific diet, but giving you lots of options to keep it flexible, but give you some guidance. Breathe. Let's take those hands in front. And please make sure that you subscribe and like this video and check out all of my other playlists. I have tons of dumbbells and lots of other equipment, including no equipment workouts. Reach behind, grab if you can, squeeze and breathe. Let's take one arm across, drop that shoulder and just roll through the wrist. And take that across here, roll through the wrist. Let your head drop to one side and then the other. One last little stretch. Take those fingertips down Press down so we stretch through the forearm and the wrist. Let your head drop the opposite way. Breathe into that. And other side. Thank you so much for showing up today. You showed up. You moved your bodies. That is success. Big roll. And. One big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your dumbbell burn workout. Great job, everybody. Whew. How do you guys feel? Good, I hope. All right, so I'm going to grab some water. I'm going to grab my computer, scroll through some comments. Real sweaty here, guys. <sighs> if you have any questions for me, let's see who we got, guys. Oh, Costanza, you missed it. Baby duties. I almost did two for baby duties. Don't worry. It's going to stay here. You can keep doing it. Ooh, weight training during pregnancy. Do it. This is a question from Elizabeth. Do you have any tips for weight training? Definitely do it. Listen to your body if you're used to working out. In a certain way, you can usually continue that. Most of your modifications come in your second and third trimester. That's why you can do any of my post or prenatal and postnatal videos. They will guide you through that. But in general, it's recommended for all healthy women with uncomplicated pregnancies. So of course, check with your doctor first. But weight training, I tended to go a little lighter because it felt better for me. But you can work to your level and based on what you have talked about with your doctor. Let's see some Naomi that burn. Yes, good. Woo, any tips? Hey, Sarah. How to recover from daily dead legs. Ugh. 
Well, if you're doing a lot of things, and Sarah is a client of mine, so I know this, I know she's running a lot too. Um, uh, you're not going to want to hear this, but it may mean uh, more breaks from certain things, like maybe not running every day, but giving yourself some days that you do other things, maybe some Pilates or yoga. Um, but, you know, it's you're working hard, so um, variety and maybe some rest. I know, I know. Whew. Let's see, round ligament pain is hard. Yeah, I mean, talk to your doctor, but stretching can help, laying on your side can help. It's kind of one of those things that comes along with pregnancy. Um, but generally, it's, it's fine. It doesn't mean anything's wrong. But yeah, stretching, getting working, wor move, working out and moving actually helps too. So let's see, Whew. anybody else, anybody else? Oh, Brandon, I'm sorry, you're hurt. Uh, that's okay, you can watch it and do it later. Um, also, I do uh, have, this is great that you mentioned that, Brandon, I have a new series called Body Sit. I only have a couple workouts right now, um, a resistance band, a no equipment, and a dumbbell, but I am gonna be putting more workouts, seated workouts in a chair. So those are great if you have an injury, you can do a lot of upper body, and then there's some way to, ways to add some lower body without that stress on your knees. Um, so check those out, I'm gonna be doing more. So great for injuries or limited mobility. Also, if maybe you have a senior citizen in your life um, or you know, just someone who doesn't move as well for whatever reason, that's a great way to get them working out. So check those out. They're called Body Sit. I have a whole playlist called Seated Workouts. Um, I'll try to remember to tag it here later. That's an option plus all of my low impact. So let's see, anybody else? Whoo! Yes, good, I'm glad you felt the tricep. I know those are kind of new, right? We'll be adding more new things as we go. All right, guys, whoo! Somebody did a work, oh, Carly, you did a workout this morning. That's okay, This you could do this one tomorrow, so. Anyway, all right, guys, I think that's it. Thank you so much. I'm gonna be doing another live this Saturday. It will be 10 a.m. my time, Pacific time, here in Los Angeles. I know some of that might work out a lot uh, better for some of you, but just be on the lookout for my live schedule. I'll post it here and I'll be putting it on my other social media. I'm trying to do more live throughout the week so you guys have this option, but again, you can always do this workout later if you want. It's just kind of fun to feel like we're in the room together, right? And I can answer your questions. All right, thank you. Um, let's see. Do you write a plan for reference to look at? That's from Sarah. So Sarah, just click the links below and um, look up at my eBooks and programs and those are more of my structure uh, plans if you wanna figure that out. So, all right guys, thank you so much. I'm gonna go check on my kids now and my husband. We'll see how they were doing. If you missed the beginning of this workout, go check it out. We had a, a lot going on. My, my older one is ready to do, he thought he was doing the workout because he did one with me yesterday on Instagram live. So we're going to, I'm going to get him back in here. So be on the lookout for more mommy and me. All right, you guys, thank you so, so much. I will see you next time.